Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with the final episode of the first season. Only first season, don't worry, I'll be doing more in the Bundesliga. But here we have it, we've been promoted to the Bundesliga, be drawing against Frankfurt 1-1. I was disappointed with the result, we just attacked, 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 couldn't get that final goal. Just look at the 17 shots, but we weren't clinical enough common story Mike Ott the young what, what is he Filipino getting the only goal of the game I've been playing him a bit more try and give him some first team experience hopefully he can improve as a player apart from that 1-1 one, one, we're promoted board have given me 2.8 million to stay up that's going to be a tough job um, I've led the team to promotion everybody's happy don't blame him I'd be happy to look the gratitude there to manager for delivering the unthinkable um, some people surprised, etc, etc. Yeah, I'm well chuffed. I've two things. One of the, uh, two other things. One is there's elections coming up. Um, I don't know whether whether I'll show you that when the elections happen for the club chairman because obviously it's a it's not the same as clubs say in Britain, which is owned by a general chairman. Where would it? Where would I find it? Um, find it maybe in the board. Here we are. Elections are planned to find Thomas Greflin's successor. I think he's standing up for it too. Be interesting. I'll show you the outcome of those elections. In terms of transfers, I've done two others. I have signed Gronosot. He's not the fastest, but looks like a great young regen. 16 years old. Some solid key stats. Look mentally strong. Got good like centre. As far as centre back goes, he's got brilliant stats. Hopefully, I can build on that pace and he can be a good player for the future if you look I've scouted him 100% he can adapt well he's professional which and ambitious which is great when he's 16 and yeah he looks really good the only problem is this lack of pace the other player signed is Nasanga and Sia slightly lacking in determination and eerily hopeless however another right back and these were the only two players I could find and I managed to sign him on a free with my minuscule amounts of compensation as I said poor in the year but all round a decent player and again adaptable professional that's what I want I want someone and ambitious it, it he had the right personality the right mental attributes and was very cheap so hopefully maybe one of them not this one the other one I've got more hope in this one might be a, a good player to sell on for a decent amount of money in the future and our latest result, a 0-0 draw against Fortuna Dusseldorf, has seen us win the second Bundesliga. Amazing achievement in my opinion. I was I was not expecting this. I was looking for playoff, possibly automatic promotion. This was a step higher, but what a result. It it has been an amazing ride, to say the least. Fortuna Dusseldorf have secured so with one round left in the season, one one set of games left to play, Fortuna Dusseldorf have confirmed their third place finish. Leipzig have had a poor run of form recently. What have they done most recently? Where's Leipzig? They lost against Bielefeld. Their form, they fell off a bit towards the end of the season. Let's have a look. Here we are. Look, two losses in the last three games. They they had they were better than us for the first half, but once we got to that December mark, it collapsed for them, and they just couldn't maintain the pressure on us, which is lucky for us because we could. Only four losses across the season is impressive. Unfortunately, one of them to our direct competitors for that top spot, one of them for direct promotion competitor, and one against our bitter rivals. Seven draws, two against rivals, one against position rival, one against promotion rival. It was we basically we dispatched of all the teams in the bottom half we apart from Great Firth we just kept beating them and that's what helped us through beating the teams we were better than full full creek with 21 goals I'll do a wrap up uh, once the last round's over we've won the second Bundesliga and we've got to the top division and here we have the other thing I was talking about election day now it was the previous election is Thomas Grifflin and the, new, the guy who was trying to replace him is Daniel Cornelius both of them in the past have said they weren't going to change anything so really it isn't that important and I see here Cornelius has won so he is now the new chairman I have a new chairman that I've got to impress and he says there's no plans to change anything um, there's the new directors, um, uh, he thanks me for my patience and there is no other news so overall it hasn't changed anything, the only thing that's changed is the name. Now we're going to go ahead, play against St. Pauli and hopefully get another result. 
some of the bits of news we got 11.8 million euros for getting first place in the second Bundesliga which leaves our finances looking somewhat like this 17 million in the bank a 7 million profit this season and yeah it's impressive every month with as you see we've been slowly losing money from our sponsorship but then that will peak up again with the income from our prize money from our competition prize money now other big news is in the second on the second Bundesliga in the Bundesliga now let's have a quick look at the table when we see it Werder Bremen have been relegated I'm obviously scouting through their players trying to find any bargains I can get have a look at their best players and see if I can steal some of them top half Bayern 1 Mönchengladbach Leverkusen Wolfsburg Dortmund Mainz only surprised me being Dortmund not getting in the top four but apart from that those are not so surprising maybe Schalke not making it in the top in the top six is a slight surprise uh, apart from that a fairly standard season in the Bundesliga same in the second Bundesliga apart from obviously us doing a great job uh, Leipzig Fortuna Dusseldorf yeah overall saw a season the three that got relegated weren't expected to do wonders maybe Kaiserlautern did a bit worse than expected and in the third Liga there's the playoff at the moment but Clements Wehr and the Madeberg players teams like where is it Stutt Cottbus getting relegated they were in the prem a few a prem in the bundesliga a few seasons again hansa rostock another team quite disappointed with their performance but overall not nothing overly surprising um i'll give you more of an update in a second and here we have the end of season awards the tactic use is the one i've used for most of the season and well the starting 11 apart from margarita that's a bit of a surprise getting in ahead of uh Povac, uh label stojevic Gislason, Bloom and Full Creek fairly expected. That's the only surprise in that team of the season. Mo Valt, that guy, by a fair margin, got voted player of the season. He's been great. He has been wonderful for us. The playmaker in the middle doing everything for us. Full Creek, 12%, scored a lot of goals. And Patrick Eris, coming through from the Youth Academy, has been great. Goal, goal of the season. Goals to Nicholas Full Creek. We'll check that out in a second. Signing season on loan, late Geb. Don't know if I agree with that one happening only coming in January. He has barely had an effect, but I guess his experience was invaluable in our running towards the end of the season and just added a fourth option in the midfield. Mo Valt, the young player of the season, uh, I obviously player of the season, young player of the season, been amazing. Other things, season review, finished first. Would have been expected for running for a playoff space, but performed better. Exactly what I said. Highlight of season, 3 0 winning at Sandhausen. Don't know if I agree with that, but yeah, I guess it's a good result. Low point. 4-1 loss against Nuremberg. I put the Gruta first loss ahead of that, but yes, that did almost derail our title hopes. If you look, we've been fairly consistent throughout the season. First, second, first. I mean, we've been in the top two. Oh dear. That's the only time we've been outside the top two, apart from the op opening weekend. So that is very impressive. And um, let's have a look towards the end. We were in first the whole way. Very impressive season. Team meeting, whole team meeting. What am I going to say? I'm going to say congratulations. Uh, Sting up uh, with right. Yep, that is what I'm going to say. And they're all happy. I love it. Great. Everybody's happy. I don't blame them. Um, they're, they're happy with me. Late Gab, they like. Um, overall performance has been great. Um, Movelt's form. Let's just have a quick look at German Cup. They're also 60% happy with that. Losing to mines is not bad. Overall, everybody's happy with me. Squad Harmony is on a high. Um, scouting report. I'll just gloss over that. Um, Injury-wise, Knesiak, he's in the Nuremberg B team. I'm not overly bothered about him. Uh, players of note, Tusha, our young um, future first team hopeful. Miso Breco missing a whole load. Uh, Schaefer, the goalkeeper, the old goalkeeper. A couple of elderly players having long-term injuries, but overall nothing too bad. Yearly training summary, Petrach, the centre-back, has had a good season in training even if playing wise he hasn't had the best of seasons we're going to have a look at it here 6.89 average ratings not quite good enough but he's been decent and Breck on share for obviously the concerning performances the older players uh, having dropped off towards the end of the season pre-season start date I will set I don't know if I'll if I do it too, I'll do it nine weeks nine weeks there we go hopefully they're not upset about starting too soon and anybody who comes in tired I will simply send home for a bit so they can have a time to rest. Uh, yeah, facilities have been downgraded. I will immediately request an improvement to, um, 
I, I do, I've, they, yeah, there we go, they've been seeded. I'll also try and get the facilities, so what do I say? Uh, I'll say we're financially, nope, um, oh, that is, that is rather disappointing. Um, increased junior coaching, no, nope. lack of ambition, oh, there you yeah, go, we've got better junior coaching. And here we have the second Bundesliga team of the year. Hovland, the centre back, getting in it. Movelt, no surprise, the midfielder, and Fulkrieg, who's also the top goal scorer, no surprises there. So some of the leagues, the Premier League champions are Arsenal, by a fair distance of Man U, Tottenham, and Man City, Chelsea, and Liverpool, and Leicester getting the Europa League spots. Relegated Villa, West Brom, Sunderland, Swansea finishing 14th. A couple of other things of note: Monaco won the League One by a fair distance over Paris Saint-Germain and Olympique Marseille getting third, Juventus won Serie A, Liverpool beat Chelsea in the Capital One Cup final, Borussia Dortmund won the German Cup, not too surprising, Mainz actually reaching the final after knocking us out, so we can't be too disappointed, and amazingly Swansea won the FA Cup final 4-0 against Tottenham, so they'll be in Europe next season, I'm proud of them. Uh, Peloshi, six goals, what an achievement, fair play. So that's it for the season, quickly here's a rundown of how the season ended, incredibly good form, despite ending up playing some younger players, for example Ott got a lot of games towards the end of the season, I wanted to play him, uh, I was picking a very set team of players who will be featuring next year to just try and improve them as much as possible, and we managed to win and draw most of the remaining games. These two draws actually being the important ones that won got us promotion and won us the league. Overall, we did a good performance. I, I'm not disappointed, especially with us winning the league. Moval, what a player, has been amazing. And yeah, I am chuffed with how the season's gone. So thank you guys for watching. Next episode will be a transfer special for the so trying to get players to survive in the Bundesliga and also the first game of the Bundesliga will obviously be shown in that episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you next season. Goodbye.